i december it was just a good timing now okay let's tone down everything else and focus on Kaiser's orchestra it's all in or nothing for us it's also a very big opportunity in our lives of course because Kaiser's orchestra is a very big thing in Norway and Scandinavia and we have invitations for all over Europe America Asia this band can bring us out with new adventures, just having fun. And having fun is a very important thing. I think we all were very positive to play again, but there's one big issue, or maybe two. It's the same two reasons we stopped. It's the same two reasons we have to look, look at when we start again. How is your situation with your family and kids? Do you have any issues and problems you need to, you know, or is it all fine? Do you want to really stay home, um, you know, 100% of the time? Or is it okay to start to travel a lot? This is a personal thing. And the number two is also the, the reason why we stopped. Is it okay that you stop doing everything else to focus exactly. just on Isaac's orchestra? When we started up, we had to get the budget for all the places to get the budget for the budget. It seems to me that it's a good idea. They have given fun. So they are on the trust of the budget. The direction we chose to pursue when we started with Kaiser's Orchestra in 2000 was a very different direction, you know, it wasn't the mainstream direction. And that was a conscious thing. We, we felt in our hearts, which way do you want to go? And we were not thinking, which, what's the best way for business? <laughs> it's, it's the best way for, you know, your passion and what you, wh where, which direction do you feel that you have anything to give? And the thing to, you know, wh where do you want to go? And we went this way. And it's a different path. You try to do everything in a unique way. The music we made was unique. The, the lyrics and the, the text, the language and the, the dialect that we're singing in Norway is unique. Also, the instrumentation is unique uh, with the pump organ, stand-up bass and classic rock guitars in combination with the with the oil barrels and very, very like heavy metal rhythmic uh, percussion and then the style of music now is we can look at a full body of work and it's a combination of many 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 genres and styles it's not just one and then you have the live show. That's the main thing. From day one, we wanted to be a live show. The goal was not to make the best albums, but the best live show. Thank you very much. All right, now, I'd like to introduce the band for you now, OK? 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 Say yeah! The show is a mix of stuff, and the result is one show, and this one show is something different, something new. All right, on the pump organ, all the way from Transylvania, the one and only Mr. 250%. It's not a concert alone. It's almost theater. It's a hybrid of many, many things. Mr. Helga Kaiser! Of course, we are better now. It's almost 30 years of experience performing and playing. You get better. The production is more beautiful and better. Everything is just grown up in a way. Mr. Bruder Mink Kaiser! Oh, and on the stand up bass today, our Wunderkammer, Chloroform, and the big G upstairs. Mr. Even 
Thunder. Kaiser, yeah, that's right. Give him a hand, give him a hand. I would say Kaiser's Orchestra is also very necessary because there's so much mainstream music at the moment. We need to see how music or the theatrical music is made on the spot. So it's very made for now. I agree, there's a higher mission and purpose this time, more than last time for us and more than ever. It, it, it's not about us, it's about what you're mentioning, the times we're living in and the, where the music goes and where the live shows go. But we represent the, sort of the old school here, and we love the, the old school, where it's just a bunch of buddies. They put the band together, and we play all the instruments ourselves, and there, there are no tracks. It's a live show. It's people performing together and making theater in a way, and making a show, and then there are no uh, fancy tricks. So it's more playing with the human side of stuff. We're trying to be very human. We're not trying to play the guitar correct. You know, that's not what we're rehearsing, trying to play the song correct. That's we're way past that. What we're dealing with is emotions and create moments. Moments that are, that are touching or funny or memorable or just stand out and it's different. And with no tricks from the modern days of production or other tricks, like we could choose, it was, it was on the table when we discussed how to do the production this time, if we should go like the high-tech direction and, and try to make something very modern and, and, and you know, try to do that. And we just realized it's not us. And, and even if that's trendy and it's, it's a, everybody's doing it, well, like we mentioned earlier here already, when everybody is going that way, then Kaiser's Orchestra will go the other way. Some of the first hints we dropped that we were going to do a comeback was go to the basement where we store all, all of the old equipment and the merchandise that we had from 10 years ago. And there were boxes with t-shirts and hoodies, old, old, but new. They were not open. And we had the idea, what if we give this to the secondhand stores and said, if you take in a batch of old Kaiser's Orchestra retro merch, we add the little QR code in every t-shirt. And if the fans buy the t-shirt, and if they find the new QR code and check it out with their phone, you will arrive at the special website where you can register. And if you register there, then you get news only for you. Well, in the end, we had like uh, 40,000 people registered. Then we started uh, releasing new videos with Kaiser's Orchestra for the fans, like a week before the news was going to come out. And it was just buzzing everywhere. Something is happening with Kaiser's Orchestra. We said nothing. be an album available because we know there is Kaleidoscope Himmel yeah and there is uh, Dime Gamble Dag and Edna yeah that was, those are two singles but we don't have any new album no we look at the project that we're doing now it's sort of a proper comeback situation in Norway and Europe the European tour, club tour next year but in the process um, these years coming up now I guess we will probably look at new music as well down the road but a new album if it comes it will be in the future not now